Security templates have been around a while in the Windows operating system on the server side, and so you can probably expect to see these mentioned on the exam. So let's talk about them just a minute here, and then I'll show you how to actually use these out there in the group policy editing tools. Now, security templates are used with security settings. Now you can say, well, Mark, that makes sense, but what exactly does that mean? What and where are security settings? Well, we're still in group policy world here, okay? Within each local computer policy and within each group policy object in the computer configuration node, there's a section named security settings. Now, the bottom line is, is anytime you see security settings in either the local computer policy or the GPO world, that little section is unique. We can import and export the settings in that security section individually. Now, this is really cool because that security settings section includes settings for things like computer audit policies, account management settings, user rights assignments, and so forth. Now, these settings can be exported from that particular computer and then imported between computers or between group policy objects using tools like the group policy object editor, which is what I'm going to show you in just a second here, the local security policy editor, or the security configuration and analysis MMC snap-in. Now, Windows Server 2012 provides three base security templates. The DEFLT or default base.inf file, the default SV for server INF file, and the default DC domain controller .inf file. These templates can be imported, then they can be used to create a standard set of security settings, and then you can export these settings and then import them into all your other similar machines. Now, this is huge for security because one of the challenges in security is to make sure, for example, that all of your domain controllers are using the same security settings. That's one of the first things you'll do when you begin to analyze a domain for security holes is to make sure that everybody is set up the same way. And if they're not, why are they not set up that way? And is it actually adding to security or is it something we've missed? Now, where are these Windows Server 2012 templates? They're in the system root slash INF folder. If you just did a default install and didn't move anything, it's on the C drive in the Windows folder in the INF. Now, there's other things in there. I'll show you that in just a moment, but I'll show you how to find those templates. Now, let me give you a real world alert here. Do not import security templates on a production server without first testing them in a lab environment because they can really toast you, okay? Toast you is a Southern technical term, meaning make it not work anymore. Uh, you may find yourself locked out of the system with no way to get back in. So let's go out there and do a little demo now. What I'm going to do is just jump out to the group policy management console, and I'm going to show you how you would uh, import or export. Now, on this VTC class demo GPO that I created earlier, I'm going to right click and I'll edit that. And you will notice, well, first of all, let me make this full screen for you. Under the computer configuration section, I'll expand policies and there's Windows settings. I'll click on that. And right in there, you will see there is security settings. Now, if I right click on that, notice I can import a policy or export. Now, I have to have proper permissions and all sorts of things to be able to export. And in some of the other tools, it's easier to do this. As a matter of fact, even in Microsoft's documentation, they tell you that domain admins in the group policy management editor may be able to export. <laughs> okay, so they're not really sure. But on import, if I wanted to import a security policy here or a security template, I would click on import policy and notice it doesn't see it where it is. Well, I will go out to the C drive into Windows and I'll come down to the INF folder. Then I'll have to come down and look for those DEF files. And so we'll come down here and there is the default base, the default DC and the default server. And I would just open that and it would import it. Now later, I could export this, right? And then save it out there. 
then import it into other machines and it gives me a security base. Now in security settings, notice if I double click that, there's all kind of things I can set, account policies, local policies, event logs. It just kind of goes on and on. Uh, I can set things uh, on registry if I have them out there. And you can just kind of go through and play with this and see, and I'm going too fast and it can't even read them all. But there's a lot of things that can happen here. But this idea of importing and exporting these security templates offers a lot of power and stability for your network from a security standpoint.